Well, hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitemout.com and P.L. Combs Asian Art in Gloucester. And today we're going to talk about an auction that's taking place starting today over on Katawiki. Some pretty great things. The sale starts today, December 20th, and ends on the 29th. And it's coming out of a collection over in the U.K. It's been looked over pretty carefully. And uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting sale. There's about 29 lots, but they're all quite good and excellent. And if you're not familiar with Catawiki or you haven't gotten yourself an account yet, you ought to go over there and get yourself one. Increasingly, they're getting more and more stuff, uh, more and more interesting things. They're doing more specialized auctions, and I think it's going to become a very big source. All right, and one of the things that uh, turned up in this sale is this. It's a Markham period Chunlung uh, Buddhist uh, style uh, stem cup. It's a good one. It's been looked over over in the UK by a number of people, and they said it's fine. It's a beautiful example. It's done in this sort of very nice light violet blue. The next lot up is this, very similar to an example that sold at Christie's not long ago, but it's a lime green ground from Il Rose brush pot with a chin lung mark on the bottom. It appears to be period from what I can tell. It's a nice example. It's got, there's some good detail shots of it up close. You can see the, uh, the brush work and the enamel work. And again, on a lime green ground, it's a very, very uh, much chased after color. Then he has this. It's a 17-inch tall Republic period uh, uh, pear-shaped vase with bat handles and iron red. Uh, the landscapes on it are very, very well done. Uh, it has a nice shape to it, and it's big. This is unusually large for one of these. Uh, really well done. Here's the mark on the bottom. That's very typical uh, overglaze enamel blue chin lung mark. And then next up is this. It's a Yongshan Markin period uh, Daozai decorated dragon bowl. Similar to one that turned up at Sotheby's not long ago, but it has a dragons on the inside and the outside. There's a good shot of the foot rim. Yeah, it looks fine, nicely done. It's sort of folded over, V-shaped. And then following that is a tourmaline fish and lotus uh, carving, a scholar's object for the desk. The uh, color of the stone looks very, very good. And then on to this, the uh, Celadon, uh, the Cloisonne vase, rather. 18th century Cloisonne uh, pear-shaped vase, a similar example, went through Sotheby's not long ago. Seems to me it brought five or $6,000. Here's a picture of the bottom of it. I looked at this vase pretty carefully. It could be older than, um, uh, than uh, 18th century Qing. It could be a little bit earlier because the color, the tone of that yellow that's on this looks very good. And it might be a late Ming piece, but quality example. It's got some uh, pitting here and there, but it's a nice shape overall. Then up is this. It's a three, four inch pair, uh, inch tall pair of pewter figures of Europeans. It's painted uh, and they're holding up, uh, they're kneeling and holding up Chinese vases. It's sort of a charming thing. It's a good thing for the China trade collector. And then coming up is a jade russet carved uh, pebble. A nice color in it. Uh, the carver did a good job in incorporating the colors into his work. Here's a picture of the bottom of it. It's carved nice and deeply underneath, but very well finished on the outside, and the shape is quite pleasing. It's a good piece of jade. And then there's a white tower, a gilt bronze, uh, um, maybe from Mongolia. It's Chinese. 17th or 18th century, so it's late Ming, early Qing. And then there's a Shaolu figure, bronze incense burner riding his ox, late Ming. It's a nice one, though, good color. And a bronze seated Buddha, a, a lacquer, lacquer gilt, it looks like, on a lotus. And then a late Ming to early Qing uh, incense burner on stand is, is in this sale. And then the bamboo cup, 17th century. It's a nice libation cup, well carved, deeply carved with good color. And then following along, there's this isn't all the pieces. Is a Zhuwa Tangji marked pair of Daoguan bowls with yellow enamel flowers, and then the Famille Rose uh, porcelain vase, Republic period, another one. This one's a little smaller than the than the than the first one, but similarly done from about the same period with the same overglaze uh, blue enamel Chin Lung mark on the bottom. It's a good looking vase. It's a real gem actually. And I love this. This is a really, really pretty Yongshan Famille Rose cup. Nice nice shape to it. And there's also a white glazed porcelain Chilong uh, archaic form uh, libation cup, standing cup. And then there's also this, an 18th century Famille Rose quail pattern bowl. No mark on the bottom. And then there's this. This is a, a Jondi style uh, yellow enamel bowl, but done in the 18th century. 
a very, very attractive 18th or early 19th century water pot with a mark on the bottom. There's this, a gi type, or a guan type, rather, uh, sensor. Nice shape to it and very good glaze tone. All right, so that's it. And uh, if you want to uh, go over there and take a look, there's 29. We didn't go through all of them. I'm going to show you how you can get over there and take a look if you're not used to Catawarki in a second. So this is the Catawarki homepage. And in order to get over to the sale, you just go to the top and you uh, pull down this uh, little drop-down menu that's up here, right here. And you go into the uh, Asian antiques category, scroll down, there it is, and you move over, and you just follow the uh, lines across from uh, 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 the top of the page, and you go to Asian antiques, click the final button, and it brings you over to the primary area for their Asian art options, art auctions. And look on the left-hand side, and you'll see something there for uh, uh, private collections, exclusive collections, and scroll over, and you're gonna find the auction on this bar at the end because it closes out on the 29th of uh, December. And when you click on that, it pulls up the wholesale. And there it all is right there, easy to find. And uh, uh, you can go through it. And like I said before, if you don't have a Catawiki account, get yourself one because it's going to be increasingly a bigger and bigger source for finding objects. All right. And that's it. Have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoy the auction. Bye-bye.